I do not believe and neither shall I allow you to believe this false placebo that somebody out of the blues comes and he gives you a hug or puts his hand on your head and say, okay, now you will be enlightened. Beware of such people. For this is a false placebo. I believe that you yourself should be, you will be given the closely guarded secrets of the Himalayas. I shall give this to you in a few days. When you come for the empowerment, I promise you, you shall be given the secrets of the gods. You shall be given the closely guarded secrets of the Himalayas. But you must make your own effort and get your hard-won gold. You must have your own practice. You train for the Olympics. It's not a film of a comedy film where you train for the Olympics and God runs the race for you. No. You have to run your own race. Make your own effort. You will be given the technique. You will be given the method. Some people tell me, but Guru Na, there was one yogi, he came or some person, he touched me on the head and I felt very blissful. Then somebody says, another person came, he gave me a, a hug and I felt very blissful. Then I asked them the question, is that bliss everlasting? Is it lasting you constantly? No. But by practice of Kriya Yoga today, I am 24 hours in a state of bliss, 24 hours in state of Samadhi. Of course, I do agree that my kind of practice requires more work. Okay, six to eight hours. But what I am saying is if you have the technique of bringing about your own happiness, why not be self-dependent? Do not depend on externals for your happiness. You will cut a sorry figure later on. Depend upon yourself. For the moment you depend on others, the hug of somebody else or the touch of somebody else, you will become dependent on them. You'll become a co-dependent. You'll become useless, a pulp. And when they don't give you that happiness, then you will be sad. Just like the usual story is, the boys usually become very dependent on a pretty girl or a date they like. When the girl jilts them, the boy goes into a depression. Because he had become a slave to that girl. He was depending on that girl to give him happiness through her smile or through her hug or whatever, or through relationships. When she went away and couldn't do that, he, f he, s he thought, he, he knew that this is an, an insufficient thing, a deficiency syndrome. You get a deficiency, same with a girl. She remembers if she depends too much on her, uh, her boyfriend or anybody else and he doesn't come, he lets her down. She's expecting that. When she doesn't get it, she goes into depression. So I say in the practice of yoga, don't depend on any external touch. Don't depend on a hug. Practice your own technique <coughs> with your own guts. Create your own happiness by your own breath, which cannot deceive you till your dying day. This is all I have to say. That's why, although I'm a good Christian, I'm a good Muslim, I'm a good Buddhist, I'm a good Hindu, but I still do not agree to the philosophy that Adam and Eve were born on earth and Adam related to Eve as a woman and they, they enjoyed a bliss. Maybe at the physical level, they related as man and woman. And he created the first stigma and sin with which all human beings are impressed, with which all human beings are burdened. The first sin, Adam and Eve. Then along came Jesus thousands of years later and he redeemed humanity from that sin. Now this basic philosophy, neither were you responsible for the first sin and neither were you responsible for the liberation of that sin. So who are you? A paper doll? A puppet? Do you not have your own self-esteem? Do you not have your own pride? The original teachings of Jesus were that a man must live a simple life 
not a hypocritical life and by living it simply by walking through thorns by walking through good ground by committing his own sins by learning through his own vices by creating his own virtues and learning through his own good deeds he gradually evolves through his experiences and then comes face to face with his inner Christ with the indwelling God this is the practice of Kriya Yoga he did not want to take it the easy way he suffered 40 days and 40 nights he practiced Tapa Yoga and meditation to receive the incoming Christ so also you must practice Kriya Yoga to bring about the inner bliss within your own body it's high time every day you go to office you come back from office you're eating drinking food going to the toilet going to office earning your money coming back eat drink sleep work come back eat drink sleep work come back so this is a mechanical life how about that part of your jiva atma your soul aren't you going to do anything about it in this life aren't you going to use a tool which you can use on your own to bring about ease and order in your daily life it's not enough to say okay i bless you you will be enlightened some in some point of life life obviously you're going to go come to some person like me who's going to give you a tool to enlightenment you'll use that process and you will get enlightened but if you sit doing nothing i don't see think if anything will happen it's common sense you have to make the effort the alchemy of to total transformation should be there and this will not come by parroting a prayer in the church this will not come by somebody laying on of hands or some reiki masters coming and putting their hands on your head and healing you although there's a temporary euphoria although there is a happiness that's fine but what i am saying is that you must make your own effort if you take but one step to your divine indweller if you take but one step to god he shall take 10 steps towards you and do not be discouraged if somebody tells you for oh, the path of the yogis is very difficult it's very dangerous you cannot contact society you cannot be with people it's not true it's easy anyone can do it and everybody can do it and i encourage you to come and take the initiation of kriya yoga it's not a religion it's a way of life it's about breathing it's about you <clears throat> It's about bringing peace and order in your daily life and realizing yourself in this life. This is very important.